Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. I'm out for a drive this morning, and it's a little overcast, so the video is probably going to be a little dark. Not much I can do about that. Probably could have waited till the sun came out, but I might have been waiting a long time. But anyway, it's just a general video. I just want to talk about, you know, always look at your options. In other words, if you have a decision to make, there's usually more than one option, or quote, more than one way to skin a cat, so to speak. And I'll use myself as an example so that this, what I'm trying to convey will have a little more relevancy. Does that make any sense? Probably doesn't. But for me right now, I'm in the what I would call, well, not really the horns of a dilemma, but, <clears throat> you know, I'm checking out the RV park here live near Lano, Texas. I had two home bases that were mine and I sold them recently and I've moved into an RV park near a golf course. It's a really nice RV park, small, quiet. It's everything you'd want or everything you would hope to find in a good RV park. So I really don't have anything to complain about there. The price per month is good and the location's good, all that stuff. But, you know, I'm always looking at my options because, uh, you know, you know, I ask myself every morning or every evening, you know, what can I do to make my life more enjoyable? And, you know, I really wouldn't mind having uh, a small, a very small place of my own if I could find one. You know, and I've been looking for that for years and haven't had any luck because nobody builds small houses other than the tiny homes, and they range anywhere from 25000 up to... 65 or 70,000 then you, know, you got to find a place to put them and then if you find a place to put them that's already developed you have to pay rent so basically you buy the tiny home for 50 or 60,000 put it in a place they charge you $500 a month rent so so you don't own your lot so that option is kind of not going to work for me but again all this is just talking about options and I'm looking at mine and you're listening and maybe you could come you can relate that to something in your life and use the same tools. Uh, you know, I sit down and I'll list options like, you know, I could buy possibly a, a small home, but finding one that's in decent condition for the price I can afford, because I really don't want a monthly payment. See, that's the downside for, for buying a home, because you're not going to find a home of any kind for less than $100,000, or if you do, uh, it's really going to be a quote fixer upper or in a location you don't want to live in or I don't want to live in. Uh, another option is all, always the, the one one of the most obvious options that some people overlook is do nothing. Okay, in other words, don't do anything. Just stay right where you are with what you've got. And will I do that? Uh, possibly. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not. Uh, all that excited about uh, moving from the RV park because if I did leave there it would be uh, hard to get back in again so one of the choices I have now I don't want to buy raw land again and go through all that stuff of you know getting water and electric and so forth what what I'm looking for and I haven't found it yet, but I think I will if I continue to look. You won't find anything if you're not looking, okay? If you're not looking, you ain't going to find poo-poo. But what I wouldn't mind finding is maybe a, a fixer-upper, you know, a, a really a dog of a home that's cheap, but in a, you know, a livable location that already, you know, that has access to the city or whatever utilities are available, and they're already hooked up. You know, then you don't have to go through all that stuff and it will have a road and possibly some trees or whatever you need or a garage and then I can just park my RV there and then if I choose if I choose to fix it up I could you know but when you limit your when, when I'm you're limited like I am in the amount you could pay uh, and not have a monthly payment then that really narrows the market you know over a hundred thousand is out okay way out could I finance it yeah you I could sure but I don't want a monthly payment you know might as well you know I just don't I mean I, I don't want to fool with going through the loan closing process and all that crap 
So even though I'd have to do that if I paid cash, I just really don't, there's a lot of things I don't want to fool with. But again, back to options, always look at life situations with the idea in mind that I do have options and I must try to choose the right ones more often than the wrong ones. And you think that's easy, but it's not. If you have a lot of people that you can counsel with, like I do, like I'll put this video out there, and, and a number of people will have opinions. And I may not agree with any of them, or very few, or may agree with several, I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you, if you can get feedback that will help you determine what your options really are because there's two kinds of intelligence in the world the intelligence you possess and then the intelligence everyone else possesses who has the most everyone else so don't be afraid to ask for other people's opinions you may get it and you may not agree with them but at least it's a start I call it polishing the diamond you know you you start out with a chunk of coal and then you start refining it until you get to the point that you find something that may work that looks like a diamond and then you go to work smoothing it out and making it work for you polishing the diamond but where I'm at right now is uh, you know I am in an RV park I just moved to a, a new spot it's okay but every spot well, every location has its pluses and minuses. Where I was, the initial site, the beginning, uh, I was between two RVs, so I had no view out any windows. If I open the window, I'm looking at an RV about 10, well, actually, it's about 15 feet away. I mean, they were big spaces. I'll give them that. And was there road noise? Yeah, very little, but, you know, there was a, a farm-to-market road that ran behind my RV and the others on that road, and... Uh, but it wasn't bad. I mean, it, I, I can't say road noise was an issue. It, the thing that bothered me is I've got those big windows on the casita, and uh, in the evenings I've got that big rear window which faces away from the sun, so I could uh, open it. The only downside of that is about 8 o'clock when I'm laying there reading my books and drinking my wine and having a snack, and I open that back, you know, I raise the blind at that large rear window in the casita RV, that's when people are out walking their dogs for them to take a poo poo. Well, it's really enjoyable to watch dogs poop and people reach down with a glove on and pick up the poop and put it in a bag. That doesn't add to the flavor of my evening snack, okay? <clears throat> so in the evenings, I would have to keep that bl the blinds closed because, you know, I didn't want to be entertained by a dog humped up like a worm <clears throat> and scooting around with its butt on the grass trying to get the worms out but anyway <clears throat> but that's the pleasures of living in an RV park or that's the pleasures of living anywhere where there's a number of people a large not a large number but any number of people in a small location because everybody has their little quote idiosyncrasies and they're doing them and I'm doing me and you know it's just like there's a, you know, sparks of flying so to speak but anyway I am looking at options and I will continue to look and if I find something, or if I find a way of life, I might, you know, would I go back RVing? Sure, I mean, I'd consider it. Let me say that. Would? I don't know. I mean, the reality hits me in the face every now and then. Uh, but right now, you can't it, 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 and do it comfortably because of everything's closed. You know what I mean? And, and it may come back and you'd be somewhere out west or up north and uh, have difficulty going anywhere because this is, it, it, the world is really nuts now. So as far as travel, that's almost not an option at this time. Now, if, so, if somebody ra waves a magic wand and this just um, vanishes like a fog uh, lifting, well, then I'm good to go or do something different, possibly. But what else can I say, guys? Other than I am looking at my options, I, I recommend that you always look at your options whenever you have a decision to make and try to get input so that you're sure that you've got a number of options to choose from. Picking the right option sometimes might not be the easiest thing you've ever done. And if you pick the wrong option, you've learned a lesson. Okay? It's called calculatus eliminatus. 
Dr. Seuss. If you want to find out where something is, first you got to find out where it ain't. And I've done that throughout my life, and I've continued to do different things. And you know, but when it, when it's finally the light goes out, the decision is made finally. <laughs> you got know I me. Mean? The final decision. You know, no options after that. But having said that, guys, just remember to enjoy your life the best you can. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want, anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? It doesn't cost you a penny if you want to fool with it. Drink plenty of water. Take deep breaths. You know, and, and, and that relieves stress. You're breathing in and breathing out. And, uh, you know, exercise your body once or twice a day. And stand guard at the door of your mind. Boy, I'm telling you, the world we live in today, you almost that 350 pound concrete helmet that I sent out to all the people that watch mail call to protect them. Uh, I may have to uh, get me a real one and put it on to protect my mind. But anyway, we're in Kingsland, Texas. This is road 1431. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your life. And I'm looking at my options again, guys. It doesn't mean I'm going to do anything. It just means I'm continuously looking, and there's nothing wrong with that. And, you know, I do me. You do you. Adios, amigos. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dios. Adios. Aloha and all that stuff.